Hello everyone, I am here today with this 2005 Renault Grand Scenic 2 liter 2.0 16 valve petrol automatic 7 seater car. Rare to see in black. Rear parking sensors, alloy wheels, this is a really good spec. It's got a fantastic Kenwood audio Bluetooth player, um, very glossy paint. No accident history. Tires and alloys look good. Um, there's a little bit of a, a rub mark here underneath the tail light and on the bumper there. But again, very, very presentable car. All right, so we're doing a video walk around tour so you know just what it looks like in person and uh, so that there's no unexpected... What is that? That's just debris from the farm field here okay so a um, little bit of a rub mark underneath that headlamp there let's go ahead and take a look inside the car I'll start with the back seats because we're losing daylight here you can hear a radio four on in the background um, so we've got these privacy visors these just clip up and retract into the door I paid you back for that loan for the Electric head. windows, there's your parcel shelf. You've got the Bentley Rolls Royce style picnic trays with the cup holders, which are always nice. These seats just pull up, they flip forward, and then they reveal the back seats here, which are very, very clean, great condition. All right, we'll open up the back. And in here you'll see that I just got a paper floor mat. This this uh, car was just valeted, so this is just a seat cover there. The floor mats are here, the carpet, and then you've got your seats here. It's a little bit difficult to see in this lighting, unfortunately. But everything is clean. There's no rips, tears, holes, or stains on the, uh, the interior. The boot hatch stays up with its hydraulic lifter, so you're good to go there. Again, do your taxes. Public Electric windows in the back. See you. And the shades retract. Mush. These uh, tables, you just push them down, flip up, fold down. Okay. Ooh, they yep, it's up yelling at us for the <laughs> key being in and the doors being open. That's the passenger side. And let's hop into the driver's seat here. Turn this radio down and get the show on the road. It's interesting, that's all. Okay, so you got this nice Kenwood animated Bluetooth player with USB. Okay. Door shut. We'll go ahead and put our seat belt on. Okay, so you've got cup holders down here, kind of hard to see. Let me just show you how these cards work. So when you've you've got two of these key cards, it's remote central locking. All you do, you slide it into the dash. You'll see the message, press brake and start. So foot on the brake, press start. You hold it, there you go. It starts right up. See, there's no warning lights other than the fact that we desperately need petrol. So we'll go get some petrol. Our, um, we have 56,364 miles there. And um, yeah, everything's good. Here's your radio. Here's your uh, aircon control. So there's a fan speed that all works. And some, some, sometimes you see these, and they only work on one speed. Not the case here. Everything's good. Air conditioning and then your radio. Um, so yeah, so it's an automatic. You can put it in drive, and then you can also move it over and upshift or downshift. But we just leave it in drive. So you can see drive. There it is. Now you'll see the exclamation point, that's for the electric handbrake there, red light. On these cars, once they're in drive, you just, you let off the brake and you just give it a little bit of petrol, a little, little bit of the accelerator pedal, boom, parking brake off. It's all automatic, nice and easy. So now we'll go down this country lane here. We've got a few speed bumps coming up, but uh, the tracking's straight, it's not pulling to either side and um, there's no knocks or clunks in the suspension. You'll see here, we're gonna go over these bumps. Boom, boom, no knocks. And then uh, as we brake to a stop here, there's no 
uh, squeaks or squeals or anything like that. Um, okay, so let's see, we'll hit our indicators here. There you go, there's your left right there. And off to the petrol station. There's an SO garage just down the road, so I'll be heading there. Uh, gearbox is making perfect shifts. You can see right there, there's no uh, issues at all. It's doing exactly what it should be doing. No slippage, no banging into gear or anything like that. Uh, and that's it, you know, it's a seven seater that handles and drives like a car. You sit up nice and high, which I really like. You've got a ton of space, uh, your elbows and your shoulders. You're not gonna be touching your partner sitting up front here, which is great. Uh, some of these seven seaters, like you know, those early Zafiras are really narrow, um, but not this. You've got this huge windscreen, big visibility out the back as well. Um, yeah, you're not gonna have any blind spots with your mirrors adjusted properly on this vehicle. So that's a plus too. Um, I feel very safe and, uh, and comfortable. That, that's all I can really say. Safe and comfortable are the two words that come to mind when I'm driving one of these. Uh, they do have a lot of fancy electrics for the year. Like you've got the keyless entry or the, 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 key, the key card and the push to start and um, the digital display dash. Uh, but everything is working on it, which is great. Some, some of these cars, you get the key cards, they don't work um, because the circuitry is right underneath the lock and unlock button. So when you press lock and unlock over and over over the years, it breaks up the circuitry. But these, both of these key cards are working and they're working great. Um, the windows, all of the windows work. Uh, there's really no faults I can detect. So, that really covers all the bases, guys. If you've got any questions, just get in touch. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video with the next car. Take care, everybody.